I didn't want to quit because I know my dad didn't want me to quit. And if I quit, then he would, I know he'd be looking down at me and say, why did you quit? His dad was his life. They'd play pitch and catch. They'd, they'd, they'd do everything together. They had a great relationship. I didn't want him to go because I knew it would be good. I wanted him to see the, see the state championship. I knew we, we had a good chance this year. And uh, last thing I told him was I loved him and just watch over me. He used to get out in the lot next door. His daddy was a catcher too. And um, he would keep throwing the balls and throwing the balls and throwing the balls and having them catch them and just, he worked with them constantly. His daddy never sat down. He was always walking the fence, always. And when he first died, you could tell Chad would look back at the fence and look for his dad. And then just every time that he um, hits a home run, it's to his dad. Chad's dream of becoming a major league catcher was not realistic to some scouts. Chad had to make a decision about his lifestyle. When the Cardinals came and told him that he needed to lose weight, immediately we changed his eating habits. They told me I was 240 pounds and I was sailing balls in the second, uh, in center field. and. Uh, the reason for that was he said that I had too much weight on me that I couldn't get down low enough to throw to second base. That's why I kept sailing him. He lost all that weight in one season. You don't do that in a season. So I can only imagine once he gets his mind right and gets into a good program and they put him on their program, Chad, Chad, Chad could go a long ways. Shedding over 20 pounds enabled Chad to be a force on both sides of the plate for the Louisiana State Champion North Shore Panthers. He's such a powerful force behind the plate. His bat, as everybody found out in the last part of the season, all throughout the entire season, was uh, just a tremendous bat for us. When that last out, I uh, pointed to the sky and said, thank you for all you've done. And when we dogpiled on the field, that's all I could think about was why I was yelling was, we're number one and thank you, thank you, Dad. Chad has committed to play baseball at Southeastern Louisiana University. According to the NCAA, only 1% of college athletes make it to the professional ranks. He's determined to become great. He wants to be great, you know? He wants to play ball, and that's what he's living for. I stand behind him every bit of the way, and if he ever needs anything, I will get it somehow, some way. You'll be very proud of him. I know right now he's just hopping up and down. I mean, just, he's, He's there. He's there with Chad.